31st. Tick tock. Time's running out. A show that's making a difference and changing lives. Paternity Court. You're watching CBSN New York. Breaking news, SWAT teams swarm the scene of a deadly shooting at a Colorado supermarket. Back to school, many city high school students return to the classroom as Mayor de Blasio announces a new opportunity for kids to resume in-person learning. And New York drops the vaccine eligibility age again, but New Jersey remains 65 plus. What is the holdup in the Garden State? Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Dick Brennan. We begin with breaking news. Just a short time ago, police gave an update on that deadly shooting inside a Colorado grocery store. CBS 2's Allie Bauman here in studio with us with more on that. Allie. Well, Christine and Dick, police just gave an update a short time ago saying multiple people were killed in this shooting, including a Boulder police officer. But it's unclear exactly how many victims there are. Authorities say there is no ongoing public threat and a person of interest is in custody. That person was injured during the incident, but it's still very, very early in the investigation. Dozens of police officers responded with guns drawn to the King Super supermarket in Boulder for an active shooter alert shortly before 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Video from inside the store appears to show at least one victim on the floor. It's like bang, 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 and I immediately sprinted over to her and was like, hey, we gotta get out of here and like pushed open the emergency door and I like, told her to, to run. SWAT teams filled the shopping complex. Police led a bleeding man in handcuffs away and put him in an ambulance. A second bleeding man was also escorted out. This man's family saw the shooting unfold while waiting for their COVID vaccine. My son-in-law walked into the pharmacy for him to get a COVID-19 shot, and the shooter came in shot the woman in front of them. They hid, ran upstairs or hiding in a coat closet for the last hour and trying to stay in contact with my daughter. Several medevac helicopters landed on scene. Police began evacuating people about an hour later, this man among them. We were uh, single file, just, you know, uh, somebody had their hand on my back, I had my hand on somebody's back, and we were just saying, go, 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 run. Uh, when we got to the back of the store, um, there were employees who still didn't know what was going on, and we just told them to run. The White House press secretary said President Biden has been briefed on the shooting and will be kept up to date as there are additional developments. The FBI says it is also assisting police. Christine and Dick. Right. Allie, thank Allie, you. Thank you. Some major milestones reached on the road to reopening. In New York City today, high school students returned to the classroom for the first time.